Lily is a very energetic, enthusiastic, determined seven-year-old. Loves to color, loves to draw. She's the bravest child you will ever meet. I think that's how she has gotten through all of her adversities. Stephen is my husband and we have five kids. The first four were biological and then we felt God leading us to adopt. So we adopted Lily from China when she was 15 months old. I was on Facebook and I was scrolling through and I saw a beautiful little girl with albinism. I was talking about adopting from China and I just started crying and I called Stephen and I said, Stephen, I think we're supposed to adopt a child. I wasn't sure how to react to it because I had never thought about it before. We prayed about it and um, sent in our paperwork shortly thereafter and we waited and waited and waited and finally one day I was at work and our social workers said I want to email you a file of a little girl. And I said okay and she sent me the picture of Lily and her paperwork. As soon as I saw her little face I was like oh that's our daughter. We just kind of fell in love with her at that point. And four months later we were on a plane headed to China to pick her up. Lily was in Shandong province, which is right on the Chinese-North Korean border. She was in an orphanage, which is run by the Chinese government. In China, you can't just go put your baby up for adoption. That's illegal. You have to abandon them somewhere. She was found in the courtyard at an apartment complex, and she looked to be about one or two days old. In China, albinism is seen as a curse to the family. Just because she has albinism, she would not have been allowed to attend school. She would not be able to have a job. She would most likely never marry. In the smaller provinces, like where she was from, her parents wouldn't have been allowed to work. We know her parents loved her because of what she was left with, and we have all of the, her treasures, like she has a handmade blanket and handmade clothes and a little necklace that um, was her mother's. Low vision comes with albinism. We knew she would be legally blind, and we were okay with that. Our biggest surprise came when she was five years old, and I went to pick her up at preschool, and they had a substitute, and the sub said, well, Lily won't get out of her chair, and she's refusing to talk. So I went over to pick her up, and I tried to stand her up, and her little legs were just like noodles. And I realized she couldn't speak. So I knew something was wrong. We went to the emergency room. They did a brain scan, and she had a stroke. And we found out she had had several strokes before that we didn't know about at some point when she was in the orphanage. And she had to have brain bypass surgery on both sides. She had another stroke during her surgery, and she lost her ability to walk and talk. She couldn't draw anymore. Her little right side just wouldn't move at all. So she has worked very hard. On top of all of that, the fact that she lost more vision because of the stroke, that's the part that just killed me the most. Because her vision at that point, it's worse than 20 over 400 now. The adoption community is huge, and with social media, you make friends. Um, so there was a lady, and I think they live in Massachusetts, and she has two little boys with albinism, and they were able to get a dog from Southeastern Guide Dog. And she was saying what a big difference it made for her two sons. The kid's companion dog was to help get Lily ready for someday having a guide dog. Rainy days don't seem so wet. Stormy nights don't stay. The connection was very quick. From the moment that we met. She knows Lily's her person. You were the way. She brings out the best in Lily. She's like my best friend that follows me around and we play together. She's made Lily more independent. She gets pets and loves and that's all she wants. I love you, Julie. She just wants to be there for Lily. Sally's changed everyone's life. She's the best dog ever. It's been a blessing for our family and for Lily. Mm -hmm. 
I think of everything that she has been through to be just seven years old. She was in an orphanage. She's had major brain surgery. She's had six strokes at this point. Learned new languages, new culture. When you think of everything that she's done in seven years and she's overcome it. I want her to be independent. I want her to do everything that she wants to do. And I think she will. In all the good and all that's hard, I love you because you're a piece of my heart. I love you because you're a piece of my heart. View every episode of Dogs of Destiny at guidedogs.org slash dogs of destiny.